channel it's your girl margo post a lot of nursing related content so let's get started just a recap of the past uh, few months in may of this year i got my acceptance letter to nursing school a month after that in june i was petitioned to start classes a semester early so that my course load could be lighter i was supposed to take seven classes in the fall semester which is when my program actually starts for the, the lvn program at my college but i actually took three courses over summer semester so i only have to take four classes now and it was very challenging uh, you know going to school and working full-time and trying to um, take care of my kids and find time for myself but I did it somehow but it isn't somehow but I did it with the grace of God so I'm so happy for that but yeah I will be starting school next month August the 22nd and today I'm actually going to be doing a nursing haul of like all of the supplies that I have but uh, this past summer semester I took gerontology which is for the older adult I took growth and development which is a study over all of the stages of life and I also took anatomy and physiology too it wasn't a requirement for me to take anatomy and physiology too but they did want us to take intro to anatomy but I already completed anatomy and physiology one so went ahead and completed anatomy and physiology two which would have been equivalent to completing intro to anatomy and physiology so without further ado let's get started into all of the items that I have I did purchase few other items that I don't have right now but I did purchase my lab kit but my lab kit is going to be sent to school and they're going to give that to us on the first day so I'm kind of excited to get that so I can I can see what's all inside pretty much everything that I'm going to be practicing with I do have my scrubs my my nursing scrubs that I had to get at a specific uniform store that partners with my college and the nursing program. So, our colors are teal, thank God. It's not white because we all know white gets so dirty easily, um, even though you're super careful with it, or it can get like, you know, dingy really fast. So yeah, our color is teal. Um, these are the pants. Um, yeah. I guess I should just go ahead and take it out to show you what it looks like. These are the pants. It has the extra pockets and there's a zipper on the side for things that I don't want to carry. So I purchased two sets of the, the scrubs that I needed for my program and a lab coat and it came out to around 150 so yeah it could be pretty expensive but it's still a good deal because i got my patches as well for my um my nursing program and then in my pants i got a medium and then for my tops i got a, a small this is what the top looks like the other ones they were okay but it didn't look as well as the gray's anatomy scrubs and I love Grey's Anatomy, so I also have my my lab coat, actually like a button up, it's a button up lab coat, which is also Grey's Anatomy, uh, got that in a size small too, and of course I have to have my patch for, have to have my patch for my nursing program, so yeah, that's my, that's my lab coat, so on the days that I have to do my clinicals, we'll wear the scrubs and the lab coats. Yeah, I have a tattoo, so most times I have to cover it up with my lab coat. But it's not really, you know, not really that visible. 
they're really strict on certain things rules and regulations and they want you to follow that like with my my scrub uniform we can only wear v-necks and it has to be solid color either teal white or black and I really couldn't find any teal undershirts that were that close to my scrub colors. So I just went ahead and bought um, white and black uh, v-neck undershirts. And yeah, it can't have any type of any type of print or any words or anything like that. And they check to make sure that you're following the rules and you have the proper uniform on. And it has to be crisp. You can't have no wrinkles and stuff. It has to be freshly pressed. Um, and like the hair, we have to have our hair up, especially for people who have hair that is longer than shoulder length. We have to have it like, you know, braided up in a bun, a ponytail. Uh, can't have it hanging down in our face. Our earrings, uh, we can only have like simple earrings like the studs, we can only have like gold tone, silver tone, and clear, that's it. No hoops, no pink, no nothing like that. So yeah, natural makeup, things like that, have to always, you know, comb your hair of course, represent your school. Um, I also have, I have my compression socks. Um, it was advised that we get compression socks because as you know, nurses, anybody in healthcare, you guys know that we're on our feet all the time, especially clinicals, or if you're doing a, a whole eight or even 12 hour shifts. I know some of our clinicals are gonna be 12 hour shifts. I got the white, I got white compression stockings and we can't have, <laughs> we can't even have ankle socks. So yeah it has to be knee high and either white or black socks but i just figured i get white because we don't have really any black that's in our uniform unless i wear a black undershirt and you can't see that because it's v-neck just like the uh the uniform scrub top but yeah they check for socks too um i also got my my nursing shoes. I know a lot of people got different shoes. Like you could wear like athletic shoes, but we have to make sure that our shoes are fully leather. Like it can't be any type of mesh material because you know, we're dealing with specimens and bodily fluids and that can seep into our shoes and we don't want that, you know? So uh, here's my nursing shoes. Uh, my husband said they ugly, but I don't know. I think they, they kind of cute. But anyways, yeah, they have strings. Uh, these are fully leather. They're fully leather shoes. So it has the, the inserts so I can get some comfortability while I'm standing. But yeah, gotta make sure you follow your schools. Uh, instructions because you don't want to get kicked out of the program or even sent home for not having the proper uniform on so yeah and also I have my clinical bag um, it is so cute you guys it is like um, a black with a silver undertone the back and then it has rose gold lining zippers and it has a lot of compartments like for my stethoscopes uh, my stethoscope uh, all of my lab equipment like everything and what i really liked about it is how it opens at the top like this it has the uh these little metal inserts so that if I need to put like a lot of things in it, like maybe books or something, it'll hold it. But yeah, this is a really neat bag. And literally like all of my stuff I got from Amazon. But if you guys want, I'll, I'll link it below just in case you guys want to order it or yeah. 
but this bag is by Nurses Mates. It's by Nurse Mates. And yeah, it has a little blue heart. I thought that was just so cute. But it has so many compartments. So many compartments. Okay. I also got these note cards. Like I said, everything I got is from Amazon. Um, I think it's going to be really handy, especially when I'm studying certain things. And then it has like a little key ring so you can just flip through it uh, really cute it comes with assorted colors uh, yellow green blue pink and orange uh, and then the purple but yeah I'll link everything below even my stethoscope about my stethoscope from Amazon as well um, and then I have my foldable my foldable board so that when I'm going to clinicals um, if I need to pull it out to take notes I can just fold it up and probably like put it in my pockets because it's so small like my uh, my lab coat pocket of course and then it has the little part to where you can hold down the, the paper and then it has a little pen holder um, I just thought that was really neat so yeah, I have that. And then it actually came with some some little uh, nursing addition, uh, like kind of like cheat codes or whatever. Like so you can remember like the QRS complex for the EKGs, uh, measurements and volumes, uh, conversions, uh, temperatures, um, even like signs and symptoms of sepsis. Yeah, all of that. Even pupil sizes, things like that. So yeah. You guys can see it. But yeah, it also came with that. You can you can put it on the board, like behind your paper, just as a reference uh, to look at. I also got. Um, I got this pad it's a black black pad with pen just in case I need to uh, jot down some notes really quickly and then the clipboard is for like papers that I get if I need to do like if I just need to jot some down, something down real quick I can just use this and then it comes with one two three four five six seven it comes with like eight refillable uh, little tablets so yeah I think that's really helpful so that I don't have to keep reordering tablets um, and then I also have my gate belt uh, it was one of the one of the requirements in the vocational nursing uh, student orientation that we had so yeah I just bought a gate belt um, I already know I use a gate belt. They give you the proper training of how to use um, a gate belt and use these to help in aid of transfers. So I have that. Like I said, it's just it's just the black color. I just got the basic black color. I didn't really want to get the the beige looking one with the the red and black stripes. Um, yeah. So I got black. And then I got this pack. Um, holding it upside down <laughs> it is uh, medical shears and pin lights so it comes with two pin lights and then um, four batteries uh, so you can change out the batteries and the pin lights and then it also has measurements on the pin lights and then I have the um, I have the, the scissors scissors for when I do won't care but I do like the black I just bought this because it came with the two pins but I got this other pair of of scissors medical scissors and they are just so cute it's pink with a rainbow finish and yeah look I think that's so cute but yeah that's the 
the wound care scissors that I got to cut like bandages and things like that. Um, I also got these little cute bag drills. Uh, it came in a pack of six and I'm just gonna alternate between them uh, if we can, you know, some some places are very strict. They don't want you having fancy little uh, nursing reels for your badges. But I thought these were just so cute. Yeah, the little syringe. And then a little band-aid. Then the heart with the stethoscope. And then a the little chill pill. Then the lungs, and then a heart. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna link all of that stuff below just in case you guys are interested in any of it. Um, and then my nursing career, and yeah, see you guys later. Bye my stethoscope last but not least it is a Litman classic 3 stethoscope and yeah this is the box that it came in just gonna open that and this is what it looks like I got the the classical black color and then I got the rainbow finish for the bell I just think that's so, so cute. But yeah, it comes with a little, with a manual and extra pieces as well for like the bell and uh, extra ear pieces, but yeah. Yeah, so that's about all of my items. Oh, also I did not show my last thing and That is my stethoscope case. Mm, so cute. Uh, these stethoscope cases come in a variety of colors. I just thought it was cute because it was close to the color that I have. But then, you know, my bag is, it has the rose gold in it, my clinical bag. And then my stethoscope is black. And then it comes with little compartments so you can put your, um, your scissors, your pen lights, your pens. Uh, anything like that and then it has an extra little compartment in case you want to put anything else and then another zipper part but yeah that's about it um if you guys have any questions for me uh you want to get in contact with me don't be afraid to comment below uh go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified of uh, future videos to come. Uh, thank you guys for watching and supporting me on my journey to